I guess so for today uh, like I mentioned in my email uh, today we're just gonna be doing a little review of uh, right triangle trigonometry so make sure I do want you guys to copy this down uh, as I noticed from the quick check some of you uh, got this down but other ones get a little confused when it comes to like which equation I'm gonna use so like I mentioned right triangle trigonometry let's go ahead and get uh, started so remember that for right triangle trigonometry we actually have three different tools so let me write them down so right triangles so keep in mind that I have the one and only Pythagorean theorem this is for a right triangle only so something like this right here so Pythagorean theorem says um, a squared plus b squared equals c squared and then remember that a and b let me use a different color a and b are just legs of the triangle, so it doesn't matter which one, I'll call this A, I'll call this B. But remember that C has to be the hypotenuse, hypotenuse, which forces it to be on this side. So C has to be across from this right um, angle over here. So remember A and B doesn't matter which one is which, I can switch these up, but the C has to be the hypotenuse. Now, another tool for right triangles is the um, Sokatoa. So, so -ka and what that allows us to do is create three different equations if you remember so let me use different colors to like match these so let me start with so so if you remember it's sine of some angle theta is equal to the opposite I'll just abbreviate OPP so opposite over hypotenuse then ka which is uh, cosine so cosine of theta will equal, and don't forget, I should probably have done this too. You want to keep the parentheses just in case. So the cosine of theta, in this case, is A over H, so adjacent. I'll just abbreviate A DJ over hypotenuse. And then last but not least, TOA, which is tangent of theta, whatever my theta is. And then it's OA, so it's opposite over adjacent. Okay, now just remember, these, like when we're talking about opposite and um, adjacent, these all depend on what my triangle looks like. So for example, if I have this sort of triangle over here, my right angle is over here, and then let's say I'm talking about this angle, theta, keep in mind that it depends on this theta. So in this case, for example, my opposite is the opposite side over here. So this would be the opposite. Hypotenuse is still the same. It's still over here, hypotenuse. And then this would be my adjacent side. Versus... I can have like the same triangle, well, kind of the same triangle, and then if I'm talking about this angle over here, theta, just keep in mind the sides change a little bit. So the hypotenuse is always the same, hypotenuse, but the opposite and adjacent change because my uh, angle changes. So in this case, this would be the opposite. It's opposite of this angle, and this would be the adjacent, adjacent. Okay, so keep that in mind. It's always easy easiest to identify the hypotenuse because it's always across from the um, right angle. Remember, it's also the longest side. But then uh, the easiest thing to do would be the opposite then because it's on the other side. Kind of like draw this arrow. And then that just leaves the adjacent. Okay.